Hey guys, it's Real Game here. Um, explicit methods. But um, I'm recording with my cam studio, so uh, I don't know how the quality is going to look. But I'm going to show you how to make an Xbox 360 dashboard using Photoshop CS4. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to file, open. I'm not sure I have the... Yeah, I do. All right, so this is the um, template of it. I'll post it up when I make my YouTube. I mean, my um, my website. I'll post it up on the ch on the ch on the site so you can download it. But the area right here is usually gonna be um, it's gonna be covered in white. I'm gonna cover it with white. That's the area you can um. <laughs> put stuff on it like if uh, you want to put pictures and everything but the blue lines right here is just the um, safe zones so what you're going to do is you're going to want to add a new layer and drag it under layer, layer zero you can change the color of this layer and do whatever you want to it I'm going to do that right now so I'm going to do a black overlay it's going to be basic so I've noticed Cam Studio also makes my um, computer lag a little bit more than usual. Actually, when I use Camtasia Studio, I don't lag at all. But so um, to do it, to have a black outer glow, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna, you know, choose a color black, and then you're gonna want to put on a multiply. Put it to the amount you want. All right, next is what you're going to do is add some uh, any color you want for your background. Change the color right here. Let's go with let's go with blue. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to gradient overlay, and we'll put. blue this is um also for whoever wants so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press shift to make a straight line and have it come up so after I finish making this layout I mean this theme you can whoever wants to just post a comment below but change the blend options on this again because it doesn't look black enough All right, so now what you're gonna do if you if you go to officialpsds.com, it has a bunch of pictures that you can use to um, put on whatever you want on it. So I'm just looking for a couple. All right, I'm just gonna do Call of Duty one. <laughs> just you can just drag it over. Under this one, and then you can move it around to wherever you want. That looks fine to me. And then what you could do is you can add some text, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, actually, I'm gonna finish the gradient overlay. I'm gonna do something too. You, you can go to filter, distort, wave. Put on square, click OK. And as you see, it has a little lens right here. I'm going to go again, filter, um, distort, polar coordinates, press OK so I can have a set. Um, I forgot what it's called, but so it looks like that. And you can keep doing it again. But that looks horrible, so. <laughs> and 
Then I'm adding one more layer. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put <clears throat> a lighter blue. I'm gonna drop it over this. Then I'm gonna go to. You can also go to um, blending options and layer style overlay. Actually, no. Let's go with screen. No. Just play around with the settings and see what you get. Actually, you know what? Let's go with normal. Or it change opacity down. All right, so that's all you have to do. I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna name it free. I'm gonna save it one more time. 